All right. Hello? Okay, one second, please. I've never played Slender the Arrival. I I've seen like YouTube videos as you scroll through YouTube, you know, various times, considering that that's in my algorithm because we play a lot of horror games. But I've never played this game. I know for a fact nobody's gonna believe me. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I just know that it's a really, really popular horror video game. And I recently just found out that it got remastered and that it was released initially like in 2012 i've seen videos on this for many many years on my recommended and uh finally i've decided to just kind of take on the challenge and play slender the arrival and so that's what we're going to be doing today now i'm being serious i've, I've never I, I don't know anything about this game so often are we guided by our devotion our love our affection A bond that pulls us down paths not bargained. And when you find yourself alone as he casts out that bedeviling gaze, how far will it carry you? Okay. Well, this looks pretty good. Okay, well... I know for a fact that this is the remastered. Um, I think I read that... Uh, I think it was Unity they used initially and they went to Unreal Engine. Could be off on those details, so... Take it with a grain of salt. Okay, so can I... Okay, crouch. Camcorder. Right stick to zoom in. Oh, shit. So these are the type of games that I don't like playing. I, I, I read for a fact that this is a survival and, and you can fail and that sucks. But uh, we are here, land for sale. Please contact Kate, 20 plus acres. That's gotta be awesome. I remember the other day, not the other day online, last year, I went with my brother-in-law to pick up a horse about two hours off of where we live. And the guy that was selling the horse had a thousand acres <laughs> it's crazy blue isle studios proudly presents i'm being honest when i tell you guys i've if, dude if i've seen a minute of this game is too much in association with parsec productions So do we consider this an indie horror game? Because I know this is really, I mean, the, the reviews are crazy. This is still considered an indie horror game, right? It's not like a triple A title. So maybe double A? What is indie? Is it 1A or is it under 1A? Okay, I'm just rambling on here. I'm trying to make some conversation. That's all. So those are the tracks that we've been seeing from this car. Okay. Now the question is, whose car is that? That's not my car. So I'm trying to figure out what Slender... Like, Slender comes from Slender Man, but where is... Is Slender Man, like, a movie that was once made, or...? I probably should have read up on it before it sounded like a complete idiot. All right, the mood has completely changed in a matter of minutes. What the hell is this? I want to go back. The music, too. It's pretty good. Pretty good music. More tire tracks. Can I jump? Ooh, is that me? Why do you have the camcorder out? Like, what's the deal? What are we recording here? Oh, shit. For sale. So all this land would be ours. That is just incredible. <laughs> For sale, please contact Kate. Oh, I like that. How oh, they add the text there. That's pretty cool. All right. 
guess I should be recording. I don't like the look of that house. Lights are flickering. I'm missing. See, this this is a red flag. All right. Charlie Madsen Jr. He's been missing. Have you seen him? I haven't. I should keep an eye out. That's pretty creepy. Please contact 555-3799. The uh, item added to your scrapbook. It can be viewed. So that's a different number. That's not Kate's number. Okay. You know, my headphones are blasting right now. This is this is not a good idea. Straight up. Okay, doors open. Wait, why is it dark? It just got dark out of nowhere. What the fuck? Hello? Slender or Kate, whatever. Probably should. I probably should leave the door. Ooh. I feel like the footsteps are slightly delayed. I don't like this, bro. Yoo-hoo! So am I gonna have to have like things closed here so he doesn't get me or oh god. I actually hate the fact that the footsteps are delayed. the life of Beth Hayes, October 18th of 2009, 9 a.m. Grace Hill Cemetery, 615 Everson Street, Pastor John Taylor. Scrap, uh, a flashlight. That is fantastic. Flashlight. All right, so look, lock the house, excuse me. Flashlight, batteries, extra tapes, lighter, what the fuck? Let's go ahead and lock the house. This is some bullshit. Oh god, I hate this already. What the hell? Now right, let me check this hallway. I probably probably ought to put the volume down. This is super loud. Anything out here? I don't know if I'm being timed before he arrives. Fuck. Those footsteps are tripping me out. Anything here in the shelf? Just making sure we're good, you know? I want to say locking the house just means close the doors. appreciate that I can play the game with ooh, with a controller. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear uh, that Lauren's been doing really well, too. But yeah, about what, uh, about what all we said, I'm not sure what to think of it. CR. Take me out to the ball game, sung by Edward Meeker, Edison Records. How do I turn? Locked. This door won't open. Well, that's good, right? What is happening? Zero new messages. One old message. Hey, Kate. It's CR again. I hope everything's okay. I know there's been a lot to take in and wrap your head around. It'll be good when Lauren gets there to help you sell the house. Take a little load off your mind. Give me a call when you get the chance and we can talk. Take care. Press 1 to delete. 2 to return to the main menu. I'm not going to delete that. That's a nice message. Uh, 
I don't like those scratch marks on the floor. So why was the, uh... I'm sorry I'm playing so slow, dude. I'm just trying to figure out what what I can interact with and what I can't. Something happened here, though. Thank you. Can I thank you enough for coming all this way out to help me out? It's been a pretty rough uh, road trying to sell this old place. I wish I just turned uh, to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be, uh... Once it's all behind me. Love you always, Kate. Let me turn off my, uh... Put my phone on silence. Just in case. Okay, that's Kate and that's her mom. Which is the same lady that was in the front picture. So she passed away. Alright, so we're completely checked out of the first floor. That's good. Let's go ahead. Okay, so hey, Kate. It's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when, we would, uh, when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out and on our adventures? ghost hunting we called it we'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise our imaginations were always working in overdrive i wish i could rewind back to then seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us how long has it been it's been at least a couple of years hasn't it she was always uh kind of mean to me maybe she actually knew about us sneaking out all the time guess we'll never Sorry, ignore all of that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please, let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just wanted to check in. CR. Okay. What is up with that? The trees in the forest, huh? Oh my god, this house is fucking massive, bro. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I don't want to be running all over the place, because when you run, it's when shit goes crazy. Something else in here. Keys. Kate's. But where is Kate? Is Am I Kate? Am I playing as Kate? Oh, shit. Oh, you can take this off. Oh, wow. Okay, that's nice. quiet uh, this has got to be Kate's room oh my oh god here it goes Safe. Stop it now. Safe. Escape. Alright, so it seems like the radio tower is either a safe place to be at. Escape. Can you see it? Oh, God. Oh, what the hell happened? The window's broken. Nobody's gonna buy this house, sweetheart. I'm sorry. You're done for. 
Just give it away or... Kate, I want to see you again. I can't stop thinking about you. Kate, uh, I can't stop thinking about you, Kate. About us. I'm sorry for what happened in the park. Maybe I shouldn't have said those things. I know you may not feel the same way, but I don't want to let go. I hope someday you'll change your mind. I'll be here waiting for you. Please just think about it some more. I have so many things I want to show you. So many things I want to share with you. I want to protect you. I hope we can at least still be friends. Yours truly, Carl Ross. So is Carl Ross Slender Man? Okay. So far, just a lot of suspense. Nothing really too uh, crazy going on. So sorry to disappoint you guys. This ain't that scary. All right, anything else here that I should be? Ooh. What did I just pick up? Okay, that's that's not good. Um, I don't know what to do because it, it clearly I had instructions to lock the house. Ooh, three. Okay, let's go over there. Well, honestly, I'd rather be out here than in there, right? So, I'm a happy camper right now. Literally. Hey, Kate. Uh, both my computer and phone have been acting weird lately, so I figured I'd do the old-fashioned way again. Glad we can meet up to talk about things through. Uh, I agree with what the doctor said, too. There's an explanation to this stuff. The shared traumatic event sounds the most logical to me. That night out there in the woods is probably what caused it. I had almost completely blocked that out, but now it's kind of coming back to me. But like I said before, it's still really foggy. I think the best course of action right now is to just ignore it whenever you think about it. Or whenever you think you might be seeing things again. Try to do the same. That'll probably do the trick. CRPS. You should call Laura in some time. I bet some company would help out. Okay. That was fun. I should probably find Kate. Okay. Bro, that house is creepy as shit. Okay, so do I want to go into the woods over there or do I get a map? Nothing? Just running around endlessly here? Ah! Nah, what the fuck, man? Bro, what was that? Was that my footsteps or was that... Oh man, I don't like this. Okay. Yeah, that was my own footstep. I'm telling you, I hate that, dude. I come to a complete stop. You expect for there not to be any noise, but footsteps being delayed and all. Maybe they did that on purpose. I don't know. Ooh, fatal blaze erupts at the Oakside home. Our suspected Oakside fire crew say a blaze. Um, arson suspected Oakside fire crews uh, say a blaze at the southeast home resulting in one death. Maybe the result of arson. So maybe Kate's mother fire broke out at the home located just east of the Oakside Lake at 11.30 p.m. Neighbors who knew the man living in the home currently the only... What? 
The only known fatality is agitated and abrasive. He lost his son many years ago. Since then, he's never really acted the same. He would always claim to see his son standing outside his window, staring in, said Kim Rollick, a neighbor who has known the man for 20 years. Authorities say Charles Matheson, 47, died of smoke inhalation. But isn't that the kid from the poster? His body was found inside the basement of the home shortly after the fire crew put out the blaze. That's the kid from the uh, missing poster, wasn't it? I remember that last name. Where do I want to go? For? Oh, God. Okay. Let's go. Hi. What is that? Hey, hey. Okay. Hey, hey. The generator just turned on? What the fuck's going on here? Alright. I'm going this way. Something's glowing over here. Ooh. Concrete. Isn't there something glowing up here? Oh, here it is. That's the poster again, right? Yep. There you go, Charlie Jr. All right, that's the guy's son. Okay. So that's just, okay, okay, okay. Got it. This is really interesting though. The story is pretty. I'm not going in there, bro. You got me fucking screwed up in the mind. I'm, I'm definitely going in there, aren't I? We're, we're, we're going in there. Oh, oh. Did we just see him? Did we just see him on top of the hill? Wow. Oh my God. That dude is massive. Oh, this is the house that burned. Hey, Slender Man, I'm sorry, dude. I'm just here doing my job, bro. Hmm. No, this place sucks. Uh, that's the boy. Listen, Slender Man, I, I give you every right to be mad at the world, but please, man, don't kill me. Oh, even when you crouch, it's loud. What the hell? What's wrong with this place? Why'd this happen to us? No answers anywhere I look. Am I crazy? These things I see at night, I don't know what to think. Ever since Charlie disappeared and Diane left, I must have hit a breaking point. I still keep looking. I still hear sometimes. I still hear him sometimes. That cute little laugh. But he's been gone nine years. Why does every day have to hurt so much? Oh, man. Whenever... See, now, I, now I'm kind of like... I'm growing a little soft spot for this guy because... I've always said it, man. When they have, like, kids involved and shit, that's always so sad. And it only it only really started hitting home, like, once you have kids of your own, you know? At least for me, it's like... Why does every day hurt so bad, he said. That is deep. Fuck, man. This is the house. Oh, another, oh. Charlie. This is where they were building, what, another house? Hello? Okay. 
I'm going hiking, boys. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can go anywhere here. I feel like the, uh, the audio could be worked on a little bit. Like, I was getting massive echoes down there by walking on the concrete, but there shouldn't be echoes there. Alright, I guess we'll go this way. Another house. Oh, fuck. Oakside Park. Let's go to the park, shall we? You don't scare me, Slender Man. Whatever, Charles. Okay. Wonder if I should go, uh, fucking binga. God, dude, the audio's so loud, like the buzzing. Is that really necessary? Oh, Slenderman! I probably ought to, ought to not call for him. That'd be really stupid. Find me, Lauren. Okay, that's creepy. What's up with the crows, bro? Uh, we've hit a breaking point in the game, haven't we? This is where shit gets serious, huh? He came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was right. He said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. Oh, that's the intro? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so now we're in the park section. Is that what it is? Alright, so Oakside Park Canoeing Rules. Personal flotation devices. PFDs must be worn at all times while in the water. Do not cross the line floats into the designated swimming areas. Reflective gear should be worn in uh, if canoeing at night. Do not interact with any and all marine life. PFDs are available at the rental shack. Oakside Park uh, welcomes uh, to the Oakside Park. Oakside Park offers many recreational ventures. Oakside Park recreational centers open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Hiking, bike trails, swimming, canoeing, train surfing, absorbing, formal attire, discouraged, but uh, not expressively prohibited. Okay. Oh, shit. I could scroll down a bit more. Oh, this is some fuckery right here, bro. Oh, this is some fuckery for real. Tripping me out, bro. All right, I'm getting the pages, and there's nothing you can do about it. Bald man. I'm, I'm bald too, so I'm, I'm allowed to call him that. All right, I, I, I hear static. Well, thank 
hopefully I don't get tired of running. What is that? What is that? Always watches, no eyes. Oh, we don't, he don't got eyes? Okay, that's, that's cool. but I'm here. Oh, she get Oh, I'm getting tired now. What's the point of this building? This is actually pretty terrifying. Like the suspense, like the fact that this guy is not here yet.
we're so close, dude. We've got one more page to go. If I die now, I swear to God. That's where we get screwed. Okay, okay. He's getting real comfortable doing all that shit. Eh, we ain't about that. He's getting really close. I guess because we're missing just one more page. So. Man, this... I don't know where else to look. I want to get back to the, um... Like the uh, container section, but I don't even know how I got there in the first place. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He got me. He actually fucking got me. You have got. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my god, dude! You freaking. <sighs> wow, dude. Yeah, that was like that was really annoying well those eight pages dude i'm gonna be traumatized forever okay hi we good well this is daytime this is definitely good got my flashlight back thank you seems like we're in the same area but diff no we're different area for sure little cabin here okay let's i don't know if i should be happy or nervous okay See, why are those footsteps so freaking loud? Oh, hold on. Six, but we haven't... Did we get five? I don't know if we got five before. Hold on. Yeah, see, we have not... Did we check this out over here? It's pretty massive. Just in case. Five. Okay. I mentioned uh, to my doctor again when I saw him today. He really wants you to come in sometime just to talk to him. I think it's a good idea. He also said that confronting this traumatic event is some way, in some way could be very beneficial too. Don't worry. I didn't tell him any specifics about what happened. I do think we should go back out to that park behind your mom's house sometime soon. I think being out there... And seeing nothing will help get rid of these stupid problems we've both been having. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Very bad idea. Trust me, I've been there. I, I just came back from there. It was bad. No, no bueno. So attention all employees. After the closing this Sunday, your paychecks will be mailed to you by home address. Uh, that we have on a file for you. Please see Jessica in the office if you have changed your address recently. Otherwise, you will not be able to receive your final paycheck. We would like to thank all of you for your many years of dedicated service to Coleman Mining and wish you the very best of luck in all of your future endeavors. I tried to find a way back to you when I tripped and fell down that slope, but my flashlight hit one of the rocks down there and broke. It was pitch black. I heard sounds all around me, screaming. It sounded like you. Everything collapsed down around me could feel it crushing me everything was moving so fast i was drowning in water and i couldn't see every fear i've ever had came back to me at once 
Monsters surrounded me. My stomach inverted. My eyes shivel, shriveled out of my existence. Out of existence. I'm sorry. And my heart caved in. I don't know what happened after that. I woke up in some sort of tall grass today and found my way back to the house. I looked through the window and saw you sitting on the couch, staring at your TV. You get your attention, so I left. I couldn't get your attention, so I left. I can, uh, cannot write anymore. Can't think straight. I need to... I need to what? Okay, I'm assuming the game wants me to go in. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, I'd rather be out in the woods. This place sucks. The woods sucked, but this sucks harder. I want to see what the hell this is all about. I'm not supposed to go here. Am I? Warning, Coleman Mining, in the event of a sudden power loss, all employees must be removed from the mines via emergency lifts as soon as possible. The power, to power the lifts, please activate the emergency generators throughout the ground level on the complex. Six generators are the minimum required to power the lift at full capacity. Please see, man, let's stop with this bullshit. I gotta... I gotta get six powerless. I'm okay, Kate. The woods are beautiful. Please come, uh, come see. I'm gonna find you so you can see it. Uh, it is so beautiful, Kate. I don't like this, bro. Local park sells land to Coleman Mining Company. Local park sells. Okay, Oakside Park has come to an agreement with Coleman Mining Company regarding its acquisition of minor uh, mineral rights for one of the state-owned parks mountains. President of the Coleman Mining, James Walters, said he's glad the deal has gone through and that he couldn't be happier for the opportunities this new location will provide to the company and the community. Oakside Park first entered negotiations with Coleman Mining. Uh, okay, so six generators... I want to try and see if I can find the generators because we know from the letters, the pages. Oh, this is terrible. I want to go back outside, bro. We know from, fuck off. from the woods, he gets more intense the more, gen the more pages you find. So I'm wondering if it's like the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six. Okay, let me see what kind of... Get to the tower. That's gonna be the safe place. Oh fuck! You gotta do one by one. Never mind that strategy. Let's go right here. Oh boy. Oh, the 
That's crazy. You gotta worry about. That's insanity. That is crazy that that's a thing. That's crazy, man. You gotta worry about this Slender Man and that freaking. just really um I don't know I'm just happy that that, that I didn't die like when when we were in the 8 pages section we we actually failed man this game is crazy oh my god Multiple chapters too, it seems. I don't know how many chapters, but now, now we are back in the forest. Yeah, honestly, I think I'd rather be here. Yep. I think I'd rather be here. 
another page here. Another notes. Did we get eight? I don't think we got eight. Maybe we did. I don't know. Kate. North Cross Hospital. Wow. Leaving this note in case you wake up tonight. I'm going to assume you didn't remember what happened. I came over to check on you and found you out in that park behind the house. You had a broken video camera with you and a bag full of weird drawings. I don't know what happened out there, but you're safe now. The doctors here will help. Oh, shit. Okay. Let me say the story is pretty interesting as well. I would have liked uh, to have like maybe a, a narrator. Like, you know, the voice of the of the character that's writing the letters would have been nice. I think it always adds connection. There's a tower over there, I presume. But still, this game is old and it's just been remastered. So can't really hold it against it. This is a dead end. Okay. There's a trail here. Okay. Charlie. So it's that. This is so sad. This little kid had a perfect life. His parents. Day here on the lake. Wow, man, that sucks. This is a good game. I don't like the horror part of it. Sometimes it gets pretty irritating, but this is this is good, man. So are we reliving how he, let me see. It's over there. Well, it's quite the distance. Why would you let your kid be this far off already at this point? Well, point of no return. Can't go back up now. Yep, there it is. Oh, I'm actually pretty scared for Charlie. I've got 
goosebumps right now. Where are you, Charlie? Charlie! Oh my god, he took him. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. I know this game was like a very, a very big deal. Um, Because even in like 2017, 2016, a lot of people would talk and... You know, I would I would see videos on like my page for sure. Oh man, what the fuck? I don't want to go in there. But I see why, man. This is pretty This is pretty incredible. I actually I'm enjoying the story. All right, so we Just want to make sure there's nothing. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, is that my camera? Why is my camera low on battery? 10. Glad you're feeling better, but that house is too close to the woods. It's too isolated. You need to go somewhere else. I know a place that I think would be safer for you to stay. I'm going to go with you because my house doesn't feel safe anymore. I nailed all the windows sh shut, but I still feel uh, it still feels too open. I haven't slept in a few weeks either. I'm so tired. Let's go out. Uh, let's get out of here, Kate. I promise I'll keep you safe. Wait, where do I go? Do I go down to the mine or? Huh? Going crazy, huh? <gasps> Whoa, must get out. But did we go crazy? Well, not we, but Charlie's father. Man, this looks so good, like, the aesthetics, except for, like, the pollen. It looks a little fake, but really good. Dead bodies? Is reality. Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Is he real? I don't know, bro. I don't want to find out. Why are we doing this? Locked. Okay. How about you get me out of here? Must get out. The door needs a key. No. How do I find that key? I don't know. Oh. Okay, well. Sorry to burst your bubble, buddy. But I found the key. Get out. This is crazy. the door oh the puddles of water sick huh? we'll go this way oh, hold on. another door another bathroom here slenderman slender man excuse me dr james anderson Is 
seems like a rather important room to explore. Patient redacted status unknown. Toxicology notes an unidentified fibrous black substance has been found in the patient's blood. We will need to send several samples of it to external to an external lab for detail that Oof. Oh shit. Attention all employees, we are investigating reports of suspicious activity in the basement. Rest assured, we consider the safety and well-being of our staff and our patients of utmost importance. Please, refrain from entering the basement unless absolutely necessary. Emily. Well, unfortunately for me, that's going to be uh, absolutely necessary. Just wanted to make sure there's nothing out there. Steps, dude. Jeez, Brian, please stop fretting about the nonsense. The conspiracy theories have been conspiracy theorists. I've been spewing around here lately. It's probably just a minimum wage riffraff pulling pranks for attention because his brains are smoother than an ice rink flooded with petroleum jelly. Besides, we're safe up here. And we actually went to college. Karen. Her name would be Karen, right? <laughs> Typical Karen behavior, right there. We actually went to college. Now, why is it so dark? Why do I not have a flashlight? Emily Thompson, hospital administrator. Oh, speak of the death. Hi. No, that was creepy. I opened, I opened both doors at the same time. No oh boy, no. Okay. Uh, why? How? Impossible. I kind of want to see what the original game looked like because, I mean, this is really impressive. Basement. That's the basement. We're going to the basement. Can't go anywhere else. Hold on. Let's go up top real quick. Top floor. Locked. Well, this might not be the basement. This is just the first floor, correct? Yes. That's the basement. Which I really don't want to go to. Truthfully. Why is there. What the fuck? Okay. Blood on the pipes. Cola. Cola. Coca. Cola Coca. Cola Coca. Coca Cola. Blocked. This door is blocked. that video charlie bit me classic video sorry I'm, I'm just trying to keep my mind at ease you know door 
is blocked. Ouch, Charlie. Oh. Hello? No. Blood. Yo, dude. Oh my god. I don't know. Some of these things are not like jump scare. Fourth, I've begun my trials on, on a new experimental drug designed to treat severe cases of depression and anxiety. It's a groundbreaking treatment, but there have been rumors of unsettling side effects. Some patients have reported seeing a tall, faceless figure in the shadows. They refer to him only as him or he. As a scientist, I must remain objective and focused on the potential benefits of this treatment. Nonetheless, I admit that I am intrigued by these strange occurrences. James Anderson. Anderson, I'm sorry. So, he has a new experimental drug designed to treat severe cases of depression and anxiety. Yeah, leave me with my depression and anxiety, alright? I don't want to see no crazy slender man roaming the woods. Not that I like to stroll around the woods or anything, but, you know. Oh, classroom, okay. Interesting. Yeah, the atmosphere here is pretty good. This is good stuff, man. It really is. Team, it is with heavy hearts that we inform you the tragic loss of one of the esteemed colleagues, Dr. James Anderson. We mourn his passing and kindly request that rumors regarding the circumstances of his death do not be discussed out of respect for Dr. Anderson's memory and his family during this difficult time. See, he went snooping around. Trying to see what that was all about, and boom, Slenderman got him. Probably what happened. Should have stayed in your lane, bruh. Okay, so. Hold on, that is. I want to go around because I think that was the basement. That other room that we were able to go to. Can I go back over there? Probably should have done it earlier. Let me see. Damn, I can't go back there now. Maybe it would have been the same thing. Maybe it would have just brought us here. I'm sure if the game wanted us to go there, it would have given us an option. So, I'm not going to dwell on it. Pretty sure it's okay. God, the elevator wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Honestly. Yep. Okay. Let's go over here. Close the door. Security office. In the event of a patient outbreak, initiate security lockdown protocol. Now, why would there be a patient outbreak? Jamal, it's been weeks. Get the maintenance department to fix the door alarm override immediately. We cannot keep going to the basement to madly override it every time that there is an incident. This has been happening nonstop, and we have neither the time nor the energy to go down into the basement on a regular basis. Okay. Alarm on. So we, uh, we gotta go to the basement. Where's the basement? How do I get to the basement? <laughs> That's fucking bullshit, dude.
Oh. Hello? in here. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay. I'm just going to keep walking. I feel like if I stop, I'm going to die. Water looks pretty nice. Like the ripples at least. Door needs a key. Alright, which one of you guys has a key here? Come on. Spit it out. Enough games. Spit it out. Come on. There's the key. Thank you. That work? No. Oh, they're just alright, they're playing games with me. Or it is playing games with me. I don't, I don't know. Oh, thank you. Now that I got the key, something's going to happen here. Jump scare, maybe? That's right. All right. Let me please get out of here. Pump it up, pump it up. It's not really scaring me. I have become numb to the pain. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool. Is that a ghost or? Follow the alarm. go security lockdown disengaged now we can get out of here To you, staff, please refrain from smoking on the roof. Our main fresh air intake is located on the roof, and guests have complained of smoke in the atrium. In addition, our legal department recently settled out of court with a plaintiff, a plaintiff claiming a cigarette butt 
from the roof. <laughs> Lit her wig on fire. Should there be any more issues, we'll implement a three strike system for nuns for smoking on the roof. Anthony Thompson. Okay. Damn, that's fucked up. Burned her wig off. <laughs> little com comedic relief there. More vents. Nice. No flashlight. Back in the vents. There we go. You guys know how much we love vents here. Oh, we're going down. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm free. We're out of here. That's Charlie. Right? why I'm saying good I just I, I don't know I was picturing me going inside of mine but this is still some sort of still just as bad I want to die I want to I want to die I want to die I want to die no no you don't no, don't say that please don't close the door good 11 outside I need to die before it catches me I'm sorry for any part of that I'm sorry for any part that is my fault. Everything is leaking out of the back of my head. Hands have teeth. Please tell no one. I love them. It's back now. Hide. Damn. That's dark. What is this? Homestead. Kate's. So I've been doing some digging and came across an old plot of plot of land that belonged to the uh, Madsen family a ways back. Charles was known to take his wife Diane and his son Charlie to the old homestead for family picnics. I never imagined that I would see uh, I never imagined what I would see there. I think Charlie may have seen something something he was never meant to see and closed as a recording of my findings and some documents I came across. We're dealing with something dark here, Kate. Something I cannot explain. <laughs> My. Wow. Okay, why can I grab that? Oh, I gotta put this one first. The date is September 19th. My name is CR, on site of the Matheson family farm, continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. Wow, bro, this game is crazy good. What? I was not a... Wow. 
I honestly always thought as as this game is just one of those like short 30 minute horror. I just don't want to see this guy here, right? I don't want to shit myself. This guy's probably gonna die. That's cute. You don't have a flashlight. into the cellar tonight for another game of hide and seek father won't return from his errands to run to red deer until the morning and norm says he found a lantern so he can take us there after dark if we all meet by the chapel after tonight's dinner i know you hate the uh the rancid smell of pet uh, petrol down there but it'll be fun i promise maggie p.s don't tell patty she'll tell on us okay well you guys are idiots Probably deserved everything that came to you. Okay, so do I want to? Huh. Okay, little treehouse. Look what he drew, bro. Fuck. This is crazy. I'm not getting like the prompt to interact with stuff, so I'm... I don't know. See, like, it's not popping up for me. If I use my mouse, does it... no, it's not popping up. That's weird. Oh, well, it's not gonna pop up anymore. I already. Okay. Ooh, scarecrow. Freaky. Freaky. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Let me go to this little shed here first. <laughs> yeah, just in case. Just in case. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not in case. I'll go back. Reminder, all wheat and barley, barley, is that how you say that? Should be stored in the subterranean cellar for cold storage. Where it can be stored up to nine months pending moisture. Dry grain that should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage. Cooling the grain ensures insects remain dormant and that minimizes up. Okay, mold grow. I wanted to turn into the hallway looking outside because that's where I could see. <laughs> Just in case. But it seems like we're good. For now, that is. Creepy. Please, Mr. Scarecrow, don't kill me. That is pretty creepy. That is very creepy. I don't trust anything here anymore. There's another scarecrow over there. Okay. Cellar and the chapel. My god. Hmm. None of them look inviting. Let's go to the cellar first. Cellar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you gotta be kidding me. What is this? This is just. Oh my 
god. Fuck, dude. Bro, I already got creeped by by uh Slender. Ain't, ain't nothing scaring me anymore. Sorry to break it to you. I'm gonna sp speed run through this shit. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Maybe go straight. This way. Fuel. Oh, this is creepy as hell. Granny's uh, Richards. A big book of story, volume one. I'm not, I'm not getting scared anymore. I, 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 I don't know. I think I've been, I have been, uh, I have become numb to the pain when it comes to the, the jump scare in this game right now. Yep. That's creepy though. I got me the first time. I don't know. Do I need the gas for something? I don't know. It's not really. What do I need the? This way? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? Bro, that is creepy. <laughs> Where do I go? Uh, what the hell? Okay. Run. Okay, good. church the chapel Charlie's treehouse? What? Ooh, a key. Picked up a gate key. Wanna go up here? No? Okay. So where's the chapel? Because we came from over there. The back row is uh, Georgia Matheson. Franklin, James, middle row, it's Ada Hayes, Henry Hayes, Elizabeth. And Frida Madsen, Carlins Madsen, bottom row, Maggie, Rose, Norman, Patricia, Walter. to the chapel. Oh, we gotta go back into the crop field to go to the chapel, it seems. Yep. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, there's something. No, that's the... Never mind. We're already in there. No need to be alarmed. 
All right, so we've got these two things out of the way. The last thing is going to be the chapel. And then that's going to be this. It's going to conclude this tape. It's good. I do like how we're kind of reliving certain parts of, of the story of, of these characters. Obviously, Lauren being uh, the main character, but we're getting to see as she finds these tapes and whatnot. At first, I don't know if we were playing as Lauren or, or, or the other guy from the notes. No, okay, we are Lauren, that's for a fact. Is this fucking kid still here? Yo, 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 no, no, no. You know I can't sprint, right? You know I can't fucking sprint, right? trying to sprint and I can't sprint. I should have gone to the chapel first. Maybe I couldn't. Yeah, because I needed this key. Okay, good, good. Okay. Are they all in here? Let's, let's take a look. Yes, they are. There they go. All of them. Was that all about? Those are all the toys he planted to lure Charlie. <sighs> wow, my God, this is intense. Okay, hold on. Hey, how you doing? I seek only salvation for myself and my family from the demons sent to torment my life. I brought the devil's wrath upon my family. I did this. I went searching for this demon. I brought him to our lives. I invoked his arrival. How could I become so blind to the manifest such evil as to manifest such evil? Why could I not let the legends die? I alone should bear this burden. Why must my grandchildren suffer for my imprudent imprudence? Imprudence. I don't know how to pronounce the word. I'm sorry. They will never come home. Their uh, arch uh, archfiend. Has them, their archfiend has them now. We all must bear this burden. We all must repent for our ignorance. And rid this world of the demon for good. None ever shall confront this evil ever again. It dies with us. May the fire cleanse our soul and burn our sins. Frida. Wow. So he came back, clearly. Hold on. Guide you home. Stupid ass fucking kid. Hey, chill. What the hell, bro? Oh my god. 
God, this freaking twerp. Okay. <laughs> Calm it down, man. Yeah, I gotta get in there. Okay. What is this? We're we good. D is Frida. Through my heart, still pains for your missing children. I fear for your heart, for your health, my sweet sister. You mustn't wear your mind with those twisted tales of our youth. You know as well as I, as I, they were merely tales to keep us all in good behavior. If only mother knew what those silly legends would do to you. Though I have no recollection of the one you mentioned, was it from the mother's from mother's books you took with you? I wish I were with you now, in your time of need, rather than whittling my days away alone. I wish you well, an ocean away, and my thoughts and prayers reach you. Ooh, damn, family history, damn. Father is making us pray again tonight. It'll do no good. It's uh, bothersome, if anything. And I'd bet anything, Patty and Waltz ran away from this miserable old place, and I don't blame them one bit. Grandmother and Rose insist on some baddie take that a strange man took them away. Ooh. So Patty and Walt, am I the only one that keeps uh, the only one keeping their wits around here? May I? Uh, maybe I should run away to Maggie, 1905, June 9th. Oof. Dearest diary, Patricia still has yet to come home. Mother and sister ran off to search for wild flowers again, but I know that's not true. It was that man, that thing grandmother keeps uh, ranting on about. I do not think she's mad. I have seen the man myself. He watches us as we play. Patty went to him. I just know it. If only mother would listen. I wonder when she'll come home. Rose. Bro, what the fuck? That is creepy, bro. What is that? Is that him? Like it's true form? I don't, I don't... Bro, like now I see why the craze with this thing. It's just like the lore is insane. It's 
go. All the way to the end. That's how he threw her out the window. Oh my god. Going up to the tower. 12. The house had to go. It can't save me anymore. This guy looks really nice. Oh boy. Alright, so we've got this. What do we have over here? Oh, dropping a little bit of frame. That's that dead end. sorry I'm so sorry for everything this isn't your fault I did this by the time you read this it's already too late for you don't let him into any more lives this was all my fault this can end with you I let him in why did I let him in I'm so sorry for placing the burden on you wish it was all on me what I wish it was all on me this can't spread any further please it is all it all has to end with you I wish there was some other way it has to end. God forgive me. Who's doing that? End it all. Alright, this is the grand finale here. Once and for all. Oh, shit. Nice. Fire. So, how do I do this? Hi. Okay, no, no. Okay, he killed me. This way. This way? Okay, middle? Oh, no. Nope. Not that way. I feel like the worst part of the game. The worst part of the game was literally why we gotta get to the Oh shit. I feel like I feel like the worst part of the game was the eight pages section. Which is starting to feel a lot like this. You restart if you die. I don't know if I have unlimited sprinting here. I guess. I want to test my, my running too much. Alright, I guess let's go back. I mean, everything else has been phenomenal. Like, really. Everything else has been really, really good. I mean, that part was just... I guess it was just... It was good. It was just the fact that... I don't know. Maybe the fact that you had to restart if you failed. I didn't really like that.
There's no other way. So as long as it's like tentacles or whatever they are, they don't get me, then we're good. It's right there. Uh-oh, this is a dead end. That's gonna close up on me. Oh man, we're so close. Ooh, we're so close. We're there. We're here. Let's go. Do I gotta go up or go in, go in the door? Go in the door. Go in the door. Perfect. Oh, perfection. PWS, the emergency public warning system is a protocol system where local authorities can warn the public about impending or current emergencies affecting their area. The EPWS can be activated by local police, fire environment, environment, environment agencies, and local authorities as required. It can be activated for the following reasons. Amber alert, okay. Are the threats, uh, terrorist threats, hazardous, wildfire, flood. Okay, cool. This is definitely a uh, terrorist threat. This guy is not from this world, and... He is alien-like, and I'm going to treat it as such. Alright, we need a key. Where do I get the key? Perfectly, I don't even see it. I don't think this is gonna be the last of them. I, I just don't think he's gonna allow us to get there that easily. I'm just gonna run. So for a second, I thought it was, uh, because this area looked exactly like from the character we were playing with in the hospital just recently, but okay, that was creepy. This is freaking CR that betrayed Kate. I mean, you had that vibe when you were reading. Oh, what the? F okay. That's the vibe he gave you when he told Kate, hey, come, I, I know how to fix this. You, you kind of knew. All right, so what do you want me to do here, pal? Yo, that is creepy. <laughs> okay, this is uh, pretty exciting, isn't it? This whole mystery. The missing boy, the sightings, the arson. I'm glad I get to share this adventure with you. I can't help but feel saddened for Mr. Matson. He lost so much. I wish he could, uh... He would have just let me in to help him. The way you're helping me, maybe I could have saved him. As I couldn't help him in my life, maybe I can help him now. I promise to find out what happened to his son. Perhaps that will put his soul at peace. Thanks again, Kate. I look forward to our adventures. Wow. Oh, man, I didn't even see that. This guy keeps stopping by my house asking me about my son. I keep telling him to go away. He's getting more and more desperate. I still see him. I keep looking for him. Can't be him, though. I know it can't, but it's so real. Everywhere I go, I hear his voice, but it sounds like he's suffering. 
Like it's not the son I knew. I cannot escape this torment, this man, this thing. He taunts me. He eats at my mind. Am I doing this to myself? Was it my fault Charlie disappeared? Is this my trial or my punishment? I need to end it. I need to cleanse this place. Wow. My lord. And we're back at the house, right? This is a pretty tragic story, too. sitting here for like four hours wow and obviously they got us as well holy smokes man that was really good that was really good honestly i sat down here today thinking all right let's play a small short horror game you know let's do it and it ended up being a almost four hour recording session. I have not stood up from the seat. Try hardcore difficulty if you haven't already. New level Janet. Nah, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, I had never gotten into the world of Slenderman. And this was crazy, dude. Like, actually a really intriguing story. And pretty sad. So... I'm really happy I played it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did, consider dropping this video a like. It really helps me out. And uh, I look forward to catching you guys on the next one.